June 4th is for cheese lovers, and with more than a thousand varieties, there's something for everyone. A common dish for gatherings is, you know, the go-to cheese and cracker platter. To take that concept outside the box this morning, I'm joined by local food blogger Kylie Scales. First of all, Kylie, I just want to say it's my first time seeing you. Thank you so much for your cards and just support the last year. I really appreciate you. Thank you for that. Oh, oh, you're so welcome, it's Wendy. Good to see you. I am so... I'm so excited to see you today. It is certainly a Gouda Friday getting to do this <laughs> with you. And thank you for this as well. You knew I'd throw that, throw that in there. Yes, and you know, um, so this is cheese that's grilled. Ten years ago, someone told me, hey, you know, you should try and grill cheese on the grill, and it is delicious. So what did you make here? Yeah, it is delicious. So there are a couple different varieties that you can just throw right on the grill. Um, what you have here and what you have there and what I have here is halloumi. Halloumi is really popular um, actually overseas. It's a cheese from Cyprus. It's a very firm cheese. And when it's raw like this, or I guess not uh, grilled, it's kind of um, squeaky and briny, but when you grill it, it gets these beautiful grill marks and it has a really creamy, milky texture. So what you would do with the halloumi is you would just cut it up into slices. It comes in a block like this. Cut it up into slices, brush it with a little bit of olive oil, throw it on the grill for maybe two minutes each side until it's lightly marked and you have these beautiful grill marks and then you would just put it on top of a salad. And then so you have the wonderful, cool, crisp salad underneath and the uh, warm grill halloumi on top it's really really lovely unfortunately I didn't have the privilege of grilling that uh, right there for you <laughs> but if you can imagine it's really nice together you should also put it on crackers with fig jam after you grill cheese it's really good hey Kylie, oh what, yeah what is burrata absolutely so burrata, it's a mozzarella. So imagine a mozzarella and the taste and texture of a mozzarella, but on the inside, it's filled with cream. So here is a fresh burrata right here. It kind of cracked open. So when you cut into it, the cream just oozes out and it's really, really delightful. And so anyway, what I like to do with it is just grill a bunch of your favorite vegetables. All of this, this is just a guide. It's not necessarily a recipe, just a guide, ideas for what you can do. So grill your favorite vegetables, put it on a platter like this with some crostini, and then you just stick the burrata balls right on top. They come in these little orbs and you just stick them right on top cut into it and then the warmth from the vegetables will allow the cream from the burrata to just kind of ooze out and you get this really lovely like cheese sauce and then you can just dip your vegetables and your crostini in it and eat it like that and it's really really lovely too I it's think. really pretty so moving on to this final cheese when we were talking in the break you said it a lot fancier than I did mascarpone Mascarpone, yeah. uh, mascarpone, I don't know, it's Italian. <laughs> we can all be Italian and pronounce it how we want. But anyway, so this is mascarpone cheese. It's, um, if you think of cannolis, it's like a, a sweet cheese that's great for desserts. It kind of has a flavor similar to like a, a whipped cream, but it's more stable, it's sturdier. So it makes it really great to top just like any summer dessert. So what I have here is I made some pound cake and I grilled my pound cake and then I have some peaches and I grilled the peaches also all you do with that is just brush a little bit of melted butter on the pound cake and the peaches and then stick it butter side down on the grill for a few minutes until you get some grill marks and then you can either mix the mascarpone with um, some sugar lemon juice or um, some vanilla extract or you can just take it straight from the tub like this because it really is sweet on on its own and you just spread it on your dessert like that and serve it warm and when it's warm it kind of melts and oh, you have a Kylie, real you have all so the good. different textures there between the pound cake and the peaches and the creamy mascarpone thank you it's for being with so us good. this morning and doing that i can't wait till you're back in studio I can't wait to see you in person oh, either. And it you. was such a privilege to do this with you today. Uh, it makes me so happy. Well, if you want to try this recipe, Kylie has a lot of great recipes. You can just head to our website. We've made it easy for you. Fox59.com slash links.